This is the Chola News Report for Thursday 11, January, 2018. Ivory and soldiers in Bawek attack coordination center for operational decision-making military base. Gunshots and heavy weapons fire erupted between the rival factions late on Tuesday. The residents said the situation on Wednesday was calm after some early sporadic gunfire, and businesses were operating normally. A burned car is seen in front of the coordination center. For operational decisions, a unit composed of soldiers, paramilitary gendarmes and police, in Bowake, Ivory Coast, January 10, 2018. Footage of the damage at the Kdu base broadcast on state television showed burned vehicles and offices gutted by fire. Senior General Min Orn Hlaing posts on Facebook that Myanmar army troops and Rakhine state villagers killed 10 Rohingya Muslims, whose bodies were found in a mass grave in Indian village. This is the first time Myanmar's military has officially acknowledged violent actions against the Rohingya minority in Rakhine. 45 Rights Chief Executive Officer Matthew Smith says the two Reuters journalists, who have been jailed since December 12, 2017, were investigating the same mass grave referenced by Minorn Hlaing. The military statement may also offer further hints to help address one of the most urgent questions in a crisis that is thought to have left thousands dead. Where are the bodies? Though limited in scope, Wednesday's message appears to contradict previous denials of a Burmese military involvement in violence against the Rohingya. Last year, a group of foreign journalists was flown into the country to see a mass grave in northern Rakhine that authorities said contained the bodies of Hindu villagers who had been killed by Rohingya insurgents. The United States Central Command launches an investigation into a video posted on YouTube, which appears to show a U.S. service member firing on civilians inside a truck on a road in Afghanistan. The montage video titled Happy Few Ordnance Symphony has since been removed. The troops in the video wear uniforms typical of U.S. Special Operations Forces like the Green Berets, SEALs, Rangers and Marine Raiders, and are seen firing machine guns, grenade launchers, rockets, miniguns, mortars and calling in air or artillery strikes. If the special operations team was responding to an attack, or threat from near the truck, is speculated, they might have been closing in on the vehicle from various directions in a larger movement, not depicted in the brief video. Those raids led to the deaths of local policemen and civilians, the wounding of a small girl, and protests from the Afghan government and U.S. Embassy. China says no major oil spill has been detected. Beijing Chinese authorities battling to prevent an environmental disaster after a collision between an Iranian tanker and a cargo ship said Wednesday, no major oil spill has been detected, but 31 sailors remained missing. Cleanup and rescue ships have faced toxic fumes, rain and windy conditions as they scrambled to find survivors and avoid a massive oil slick since Saturday's incident. The Sankey carrying 136,000 tons of light crude oil, has been in flames since colliding with the CF Crystal, the Hong Kong registered bulk freighter, 160 nautical miles east of Shanghai. A fire on the oil tanker rages for the fourth day. An explosion forces rescue teams to retreat as 31 sailors remain missing. Dozens of rescue boats from China and South Korea have been battling strong winds high waves and poisonous fumes to coma 900. Square and water Kamil area, 431 missing sailors and tame the fire, amid growing concerns the listing ship may explode or sink. The Trump administration through the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency conducts operations against employment of an illegal workforce at 98.7, 11 stores in 17 states. Taking a harder line on illegal immigration, including building a wall at the border with Mexico, was a touchstone for Trump during the 2016 election campaign. Owners and managers have three business days to produce documents, showing their employees are in the country legally, or they could face civil and criminal penalties, I said. The states where the employment audit notices were served were California, Colorado, Delaware, Florida, Illinois, Indiana, 
Maryland, Michigan, Missouri, Nevada, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Texas and Washington, I said.